The Battle of the Milbian Bridge, a decisive turn in history. The Battle of the Milbian Bridge fought on October 28, 312 AD and is a crucial milestone in the history of the Roman Empire. This epic confrontation took place near the Tiber River outside Rome between the armies of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great and his rival Maxentius. Background Constantine first came to power when Constantius Chlorus, his father, died in July 306. This generated great controversy in the Roman society of the time, since, in a climate of non-conformity on the part of the citizens, the tension between the rulers was increasing. The Roman Empire was governed by a tetrarchy, a system of government that the Augustus Diocletian had instituted in the year 293. This system consisted of dividing the government between two mayor emperors, the so-called Augustus and two subordinates known as Caesars. This tetrarchy did not last long, since in 305 the August Diocletian and Maximian abdicated at the same time, although in separate ceremonies. Maximian had come to power thanks to the appointment that Diocletian gave him. Probably for the military service, Maximian had performed with great success. However, it is often believed that this appointment was due to the fact that Diocletian had no reliable relative to give the office, although he later appointed Galerius, his son-in-law, as junior emperor. For this reason, Diocletian did not have many objections at the moment of abdicating, but Maximian did not want to abandon the power without first being able to leave his son, Maxentius, as minor emperor, which he could not achieve since the chosen ones for the position were Severius and Maximinus. When Constantius died, he named his son as heir, but Maxentius, son of the August Maximus, opposed this since he believed he was a bold hip in the line of succession as the son of an August. As if that were not enough, the tension between the Tetrarchs was increasing since Constantine and Severius were practically disputing who would be named August and who would be named Caesar. However, after a brief period of tension, Constantine had no choice but to accept the primacy of Severus, since the prerogatives of the Tetrarchy indicated that the Western Caesar should succeed the Western Augustus. As if that were not enough, Maxentius was highly supported in his region, so he practically proclaimed himself emperor and called his father, Maximian, to rule with him who took advantage of the situation to appear again on the political scenario. Support received by each side Constantine, leader of the Western forces, sought to unify the empire under his command. Maxentius, on the other hand, ruled Italy and parts of the imperial west from Rome. Maxentius received support from various quarters during his attempt to maintain power in the Roman Empire. His support base included mainly groups in Italy and the military forces under his command, which played a crucial role not only in his rise to power, but in the defense of that authority. His policies of repression and control were very important for both his acceptance and disapproval, as he literally had a divided reception among the citizens. As in the case of Constantine, support for Maxentius varied from region to region. His father's rule was extremely important in the consolidation of Maxentius as a self-proclaimed emperor, as those who had melodied for Maximian strongly believed that Maxentius would have a similar rule, mainly in conservative and traditionalist ideas. All this support was finally reflected in the battle, since the evidence indicates that Maxentius' army was vastly superior to Constantine's army, who counted mainly on the support of the Empire's Christians, since they saw in Constantine the possibility of living their fate without restrictions. Moreover, the heavy-handed policy that Maxentius carried out in Italy had greatly divided opinions, as we had pointed out earlier. The less favored citizens repudiated such attitudes, so they relied on the pious beliefs of Constantine's Christianity. In fact, there were supporters who believed in it to bring stability to the empire. Constantine's strategy 
Constantine, foreseeing the importance of the battle, adopted a shred strategy. Before the confrontation, he is said to have had a vision in which he saw a Christian symbol in the sky along with the words in Oxygnobinces, with this sign you will conquer. This influenced his decision to adopt Christianity and use the Christian emblem as a banner in battle. The development of the battle The battle began with the construction of a temporary bridge by Constantine to cross the Tiber River, as the original one had been destroyed by Maxentius to slow the enemy advance. As the armies clashed, cavalry and infantry from both sides clashed in fierce fighting. The intervention of Constantine's cavalry, commanded by his son Crispus, was a determining factor. The result the battle resulted in a surprising victory for Constantine. Maxentius, in his attempt to flee, fell into the Tiber River and drowned. This defeat marked the end of his rule and consolidated Constantine as the sole emperor of the western part of the Roman Empire. Constantine became an influential leader and is best known for promulgating the Edict of Milan in 313 AD, which granted religious freedom to Christians in the empire. Long-term impact the Battle of the Milbian Bridge had a lasting impact on history. Constantine, now a devout of Christianity, actively promoted the Christian faith and helped pave the way for the acceptance of Christianity in the Roman Empire. In addition, the use of the Christian symbol as a banner in battle laid the groundwork for the later adoption of his symbol, the cross, as one of the most recognizable icons of Christianity. The Battle of Milbian Bridge was a crucial turning point in the history of the Roman Empire and Christianity. Constantine's strategic vision, his embrace of Christianity and his victory in this battle not only determined the fate of the empire but also influenced the shaping of the Western world for centuries to come. Hey, don't close the video yet. Before you go, please subscribe to the channel and leave us a like if you like the content. It will help us to grow and continue making much, much more content for you. Till next time.